What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys three of Logan Paul's diss track video effects. So let's get started with the tutorial in Premiere Pro. So the first video effect is the blur unblur effect. So I have my clip right here and this is super simple. All we're gonna do is search up fast blur in effects and then put that on our clip. And then we're just gonna keyframe the blurriness. So in the beginning of the clip, we're gonna press the keyframe button we can press shift and hold the right arrow key twice, but you can even actually go one if you want to make it go faster. So once you do that, we're gonna adjust the blurriness to however much you like. You can make it super blurry, but in his video, he doesn't make it that blurry. So I'm just keeping it at 21. And then I'm gonna press repeat edge pixels, and then we're gonna go and press shift right twice again, and then bring that back to zero. And then we can go shift right again, and then bring that back to 21. And then we're gonna go shift twice again and back to zero again. So you can actually copy all the keyframes and paste it if you want. So you can have it throughout the video. And you can also save this as a preset so you can use this in future projects or other clips that you wanna have this effect on. So I'm just gonna right click on the fast blur and then press save preset. And we can just name this the blur unblur preset. And then you can press OK. So you can search it up in effects and you can use it on your other video projects and clips. Okay, so that's the first effect. So now I'm gonna work with the second half of the clip and I'm just gonna take out the uh, fast blur effect. And this next effect is gonna be the rotating twitch effect. And this is also super simple as well. So this is what it looks like. So what you wanna do is just adjust the rotation slightly. So we're gonna keep it at like two and then we're gonna scale it in so that you don't see the black edges. So this is gonna reduce the quality just a little bit, but it'll be fine. So I kept my scale at 106, and now we're just gonna make several cuts in the video. So I'm just pressing the right arrow key twice, and then pressing C for cut to cut. And then we're gonna do that again, and then cut it again. And so for the second clip, we're gonna change the rotation to negative two. So now it'll just glitch really fast, and you're gonna wanna do this multiple times so you can get a good twitch going on. So we don't have to do anything with this third clip because it goes back to negative two. And then what you can actually do is just go to our second cut with the rotation at negative two, and we can right click on motion and then press save preset. And we'll just name this the rotate Logan Paul effect. So now if you just press the right arrow key twice and then you keep making cuts, Every other time you want to have that rotate Logan Paul effect. And so I made like seven. So it makes for this really cool effect. And yeah, it's super simple and easy. Okay, so now for the final effect. This is like a scale out white flash effect. So it's super simple as well. I'm just gonna go to the beginning of the clip and then we're gonna scale it in a lot. And so I'm just keeping it at 175 and then we're gonna press the keyframe button. So you can just go a little bit forward and then press the reset button and then you can watch it back to see how fast it goes. But you kind of want it to be pretty fast. So I'm just moving the keyframes closer together. And so now you can add several like flash cool effects. So I'm gonna go back to the project and create a new color mat. And then you can just press okay. And then we're gonna change that color to white. And I'm just gonna change the name to white. Doesn't really matter, honestly. And then you can change the opacity to like 20. So it kind of flashes and you can shorten it so it goes really fast. So you can barely see it. And then another thing you could do is create a new adjustment layer, and then press OK, and then we're going to put that next to our color mat, and we're just going to shorten that really small too. And then we're going to go to effects, and then we're going to search up invert, and we can just put that on our clip, and you can see this really wild effect. And if you just blend it with the original, we can go to like 28. It does a really cool like flash night vision, I don't know, sort of effect. And yeah, that could look pretty cool. And then in the end of that clip that I saw in his video, he kind of sped up the ending. So super easy and quick. You can just cut off the end and then we're going to press command R and we can just change that speed to like 400. So it just speeds up really fast in the end. So yeah, these are super duper easy and quick effects that he used in the video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.